Hey guys, Happy New Year. Hope you're having an awesome January 2016. January is actually one of my favorite months of the year. Uh, not something you'd usually hear from a Belizean because January is the start of MAGA season. MAGA in English, uh, that'd be skinny. Uh, basically, you spend all your money on Christmas gifts and New Year's parties. So by January, you're broke and you don't have enough money even to buy food. So, MAGA season. For me, I love January because January 22nd is my birthday. But more importantly, January 6th is my daughter's birthday. And I'll show off some of the stuff that happened on her birthday. But it's been a while since I've made a video. So I'm going to show you guys first some of the stuff that happened during the holidays. So let's start with Christmas Day. <laughs> Christmas Day is always nice, you know, spending time with family, my wife's cooking. But what made this one really nice was watching my daughter's reaction to her Christmas gifts that she got. Well, at least the one that she really liked. As she gets older, she's becoming more <laughs> expressive in her feelings and uh, I enjoyed watching this moment. Also watch my brother-in-law fly his new drone with my sister. That thing is harder to control than I thought it would be because you're constantly fighting against the wind, but you get the hang of it after a little practice. Around New Year's, I got to spend some time with my buddies. We did guy stuff. You know, drink beers, talk about cars and ate ice cream. You know, things that men do. <laughs> in all seriousness, while the drain in the area of the ice cream shop smelt funky, the ice cream was good. So if you're ever in San Ignacio, Belize, you should give the ice cream shop a go. Before Christmas, I went to Belize City with my wife and daughter to watch Star Wars The Force Awakens. Before going to the cinema, we had lunch at an Indian restaurant called Samati. Indian food takes a while to prepare, and it's a bit pricey, but it tastes delicious. Anyways... My daughter, the Force, is strong with this one to fall asleep while watching Star Wars movies. I showed her the original trilogy and she fell asleep halfway for each one of them. Don't get me wrong, she enjoyed watching the films, but it took me about a week for her to see everything. My favorite part of the experience of watching these movies with her... Me. I am your father. What? Is, is he lying? Is this true? Dad. Dad, is this true? Yes, Sonati, it's, it's true. <laughs> oh man, it was just sweet. Just sweet seeing that reaction, like just at that moment. I just, it's almost like I wish I had the camera to capture that. But anyways, it's stuck in here. That was just a sweet moment and I'm glad I got to share that with her. Oh, and just so you know, I enjoyed The Force Awakens. History repeats itself, but I don't care. What I really like about Star Wars is that it shows you that internal conflict between good and evil. Doesn't matter if you're a trained Jedi Knight who's been shown how to harness the good side of the Force for years. You could always end up like Darth Vader if you're not careful with your thoughts. 
which control your actions. And in the original trilogy, you have Luke Skywalker who was tempted by the dark side, but in the end chose good. And in The Force Awakens, you have Kylo Ren who, while you do see some internal conflicts, has chosen the dark side so far. I like that, especially in the expanded universe, this is not a one-soft thing. This is, this is an, a constant internal battle that you always have to try to do the right thing or sometimes you give in or later on down the line if you want make amends for the mistakes that you've made. At its core though, it's just symbolizing the hurdles we face in our everyday lives. Anyways, my daughter still fell asleep halfway during The Force Awakens. Estas son las mañanitas que cantaba el rey David a las nietas muy bonitas y yo te los canto a ti. Despierta, bella, despierta. Mira que ya amaneció y a los pajaritos cantan, la luna ya se metió. So I think every now and then I'll be featuring my daughter in my videos because as she gets older, I'd like to involve her with this hobby of mine. Maybe she can learn something from it. Also, it's pretty awesome that we live in a time where we have this medium YouTube that I can preserve glimpses of my daughter's life so that in the future she can see and share what she was like as a little girl. Anyways guys, that's it for now. I'm out.